So yeah. a free to win at York today. Talk us through your emotions after that great result. Yeah, you know, we had to work hard for that today. Um, but I think from 1 to 11, everybody's worked there. We're really hard and you know we've got the res rewards at the end of it. And there was a little reshuffle in there the first half where Sean dropped back into the centre half of you. How was that for you and how did you, how did you find it? Yeah, I mean, uh, Hutchie's struggling I think with just something to do with his quad but it was just a bit tight and then really he's played there a couple of times and I mean he's great at heading the ball and you know he can read the game as well so he did brilliant when he uh, slotted in there. How did you find it uh, with playing up against John Porkin, the, the, the calling him the giant over the tunnel, so how was that for you playing against him? Yeah, I mean, played them earlier on in the season, He's, you know, he is what he is, big physical lad and you know, just he tries to kind of bully out the game, but I think we did well today, you know, kept the line quite high and he didn't have too much joy, I know he's managed to score obviously the penalty and then uh, the second one, but I think we've done alright against him and uh, you know, again, getting the rewards by uh, keeping him out. I'm not sure how long Blythe there haven't conceded. Apparently, they haven't conceded from uh, open play in quite a few games now. So, how, does that show the kind of defensive, how solid the defensive line is in the, in the team? Yeah, definitely. I mean, the Gaffer's obviously he's, he's had a word. We were conceding far too many, even for what we were wanting as well. Um, and you know, it's, it's good to see it paying off. You know, last four or five games we've kept a few clean sheets and it gives us confidence from the back. You know, and I'm sure it gives the forwards confidence knowing that there's a decent line behind them now. Yeah, it was a nervy finish there, but you've seen it. For uh, how, how was that for you? Yeah, definitely. I think you know they've nicked the second one. I think it was just a few tired legs and they've, they've uh, chucked bodies forward. But again, you know we just had to see it out and got the reward in the end. And Great. Just a, quick word, sorry. just a quick word on the fans. Uh, they've yeah, sung for out. How was how nice to go out at the end there and, and celebrate with them. That's it. It's unbelievable. I mean to see so many fans here, you know, behind her as well for the last five minutes just singing non-stop. It was massive lift for her and it's great to see. I'm, I mean, I remember when I first came and we weren't even getting that amount at home, so to see it in an away game, it's, it's unbelievable. Uh, Sean, it was a 3-2 win at York today, what did you make of the side's performance overall? Outstanding, I think everyone worked for each other non-stop and uh, just happy to get their three points. Yeah. Obviously it's a big lovely old ground in York beat uh, Blythe earlier in the season, so does that make it extra special to come here and win? It does, because I missed the first game, uh, so I didn't know what these are like, but uh, to come to York as well, it's a good setup and the lads are full time for us to beat them, it's just, you can't ask for anymore really. And you were asked to play in a couple of different positions today, is that something that you're comfortable with? Yeah, to be honest, yeah, when I was younger I played uh, around the back and um, oh, as I got older I played higher up, but I'm more uncomfortable to just sit in wherever the gaffer wants us to play. And uh, you seem to pick up a knock towards the end of the game, how's that feeling? So, so yeah, but um, I spoke to uh, Belly the physio and he says just stretch it off, to, uh, it doesn't feel as bad towards the end but then I got a knock to my foot and that's just a bit bruised but I should be alright for Tuesday.